Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there was a man named Alexander. Alexander was born into royalty as a prince, but he never felt like he truly fit the role. He never had a kind bone in his body and enjoyed making the people around him feel miserable. Growing up, Alexander was cruel to everyone, including his own family. He would berate and belittle his siblings, servants, and anyone who crossed his path. He would often throw lavish parties, only to insult and humiliate his guests publicly. The king and queen did everything they could to try and mold Alexander into a better person, but nothing worked. They saw the potential for greatness in him, but Alexander was too stubborn to listen. His selfish desires always came first. One day, the kingdom was attacked by an enemy neighboring kingdom. The king and many of his soldiers were killed, and Alexander was left to rule the kingdom. At first, Alexander thought this would be an opportunity for him to exert even more control over his subjects. But as the days went on, he began to realize that ruling a kingdom was not easy. He had always been pampered and never had to take responsibility for his actions. Now, he had to make decisions that would affect thousands of lives. He soon realized that he was not cut out for ruling, and his cruel behavior only made things worse. His people began to rise up against him, and soon his own safety was in danger. In his desperation, Alexander realized that he had to change his ways if he wanted to save his kingdom and himself. He began to apologize for his past actions and took steps to make amends with the people he had wronged. Over time, the people began to forgive him, and he slowly started to earn their trust. He worked hard to become a better leader and even began to show compassion and kindness towards his subjects. Throughout his reign, Alexander faced numerous challenges and obstacles, but he remained committed to his people and their well-being. He strived to create a society that was fair and just for all, regardless of their station in life. This involved implementing new laws and policies that were designed to promote equality and opportunity, as well as protecting the disadvantaged and vulnerable. Alexander also recognized the importance of education and culture in building a strong and prosperous nation. He invested heavily in schools, libraries, and cultural institutions, which helped to foster a sense of national identity and pride. His efforts paid off, as his people grew more educated and skilled, and began to make important contributions to the arts, sciences, and other fields. Despite his many achievements, Alexander remained humble and approachable. He listened to the concerns of his people, and was always open to new ideas and feedback. This earned him widespread respect and admiration, and cemented his place in history as one of the greatest leaders of his time. Alexander's legacy extended far beyond his own lifetime. His ideas and ideals inspired generations of leaders who followed in his footsteps, and his vision for a fair and just society continues to shape the world today. In the end, Alexander learned that power does not come from being cruel and controlling, but rather from being a kind and fair ruler. He may not have been born to be a prince, but he made himself into one that his people could be proud of.